Oh, hey. You look better for some reason. Huh? You look better for some reason. Better? Yeah. I get better every day. Well, you got better today. You got that, <laughs> that tank top right there. <laughs> Two hours late is just a small detail. <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. I forgot my fish binder battery, but River Rats, me and Dennis here are going to go on an adventure. What was that? What the heck? Did it, did it pop off the side of the curb, maybe? Oh, like I bet was, it did. Like it was just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the adventure starts early. Are you still filming? Yeah, I'm still filming. How's, how's the Gatorade? It kind of it's, looks like you're drinking pee. It's, it's thirst quenching. Thirst quench, quenching urine. That's what it looks like. <laughs> but it's cold, not warm. Right. Lemon, okay. li lemon lime is my favorite of all the Gatorades. We're fishing that direction, so we're going to keep trucking. Yeah, we only have like three and a half more hours to go, Spencer. Oh. But who's counting? Both of us. This is almost... <laughs> it's, it's only the same amount of time that I had to wait for you to show up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we woke up to rain. I, well, I woke up to rain and then uh, I also saw Daddy's ugly face. What, ah! It wasn't the best way to wake up. <laughs> We're going to go catch bait, though. I hope the bait's bite. I hope the bait's biting, too. Because the bait is sometimes more fun than the catfish. Oh. Stay on your ground because you don't want him to go down there and get tangled. I guess I I should probably help you land him. I liked hearing that drag sizzle though. Where's he at? Oh, heck yeah. Got any more of them spoons with you? Do you? I'm gonna just flip him up. Oh, come on. <laughs> Clutch. <laughs> He was not hooked great. That's those, that's that's what I that's, that's what you're nervous about those little spoons. All right. All right. What am I gonna steal out of your box? Ooh, I'll throw an inline. Were you just reeling it straight in? Uh, I was I was letting it flutter down a little bit. Okay. I'll try the inline for a bit. Just because I have to be different. Right. You're my hero, Denny. I didn't say lucky, I said you're my hero. Turn your hearing aid up. Should have got some chicken livers. They like chicken livers. I'm not even joking. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is like the kind of day when you get them on chicken livers. He feels a lot like uh, what you caught. Maybe a little smaller. Um, I don't know. I think I'll be okay. I love that thud, though. God, he's... I'm so worked up over a two-pound hybrid. <laughs> well, he's pretty comfortable. I didn't play around with him like you do, Denny. I get to business. Well, you got a better hook on that than I had. That's true. And not, but and not as many excuses. <laughs> a couple more of them, and I think we'll be sitting pretty fat. Doesn't feel as big. <laughs> what was I saying, Denny? About walleyes? He ain't gonna be big enough to eat, but uh, it's nice seeing him. Wonder if he's what hit it the other time and just couldn't fit it down the trap. There he is. What are you? Try a walleye. Little walleye again. It's too yep. <laughs> I 
I'm a walleye fisherman, what can I say? Oh, hey. Huh? You have a fish? What kind of fish? I'm guessing a carp? Submarine? Submarine for sure. Oh, sure. Why do you talk like that? What? <laughs> Are you channeling your old DJ days? Maybe you snagged a flathead. You put eyes on it? Uh, I saw color. Yeah, he's really big. Oh, he just bust you off? Yeah, I was trying to... Do I was, something? I was, I was holding it to tighten the drag by hand. It would have been cool to see him. I never did see him. No. What do you got there, bud? Probably a gar, by the way. It was f not fighting. Where did you feel him hit it? It would have added to the cause. All right, it's official. We're about to get on the water <laughs> approximately 13 hours after the start date of the tournament. And I couldn't be more excited and optimistic. Seriously though, it's weird to be competing in a fishing event. Denny just had one, but he botched the hook set. Kind of used to that around him. He's too far away to hear my trash talk, so it's not as fun. Here, kitty, kitty. Well, Denny hooked a smaller one, so at least there's a few fish around. I think he's been getting tormented by those little tykes this whole time. Pretty slow going so far. Denny caught another smaller fish. He's in the playpen, and I suppose when you throw big baits out, you know, probably not, at least I'm not expecting to beat him up. Although it'd be really cool if I did. I haven't even marked a big fish yet. That doesn't mean a whole lot, but it means a little bit. Trying to take it down, I think. Did he just drop it? It was like, D -d 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 -d, like he was trying to chomp it down and then kind of went down and then popped out. Yeah, he ain't there. pretty sure my line just ran right over the top of some fish and it freaked out and the water just exploded and my heart is beating out of my chest. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't a big, big catfish trying to eat it. Be a lot cooler if it was. I have a fish, and it is impressively small, but I'm going to submit it because um, I don't have anything else to submit, and my partner has nothing else to submit. Is he even hooked good? Oh, barely. Do I even get worked up over landing it? Yeah! Saved his fight for the boat. So if you ever fish one of these tournaments, basically, and I'm not an expert, I've never fished one of these tournaments before, but from what I've learned, you gotta have your identifier. Here's mine. And then you gotta have a camera of sorts. Here's mine. I'm gonna lay them on a measuring board. Here's my measuring board. And that's it. Then I'll submit it on the Tourney X app and it'll be pretty sweet. And if you're wondering what tournament I'm fishing, it is the TCKA, which would be Trophy Cat... No, TKCA. Trophy Kayak Catfish Anglers. And uh, that's not a trophy, if you're wondering, but it's a start. I guess. Slow day. Probably should have just stayed home, but the weather wouldn't have been great either one. The temp dropped like 10 degrees, but 
It's just an excuse. Everybody's got something. All I can do is keep fishing. So I'm going to keep fishing, which sounds pretty nice. No! Oh my god. How does that not get the hook? That was my fish. But screwing around with that one. This gets plowed. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do. Like I've had that happen in the past. I'm <laughs> Oh my god. Big bait got smoked and uh had the stinger hook, had the top hook. I mean, you could do a J and circle and some combo and whatever, but that was an absolute giant and it was just rip and drag and never know how big he really was. I'm gonna toss it back out and keep fishing, I guess. It's frustrating. That's the one downfall of fishing big baits is like, yeah, you know, you eliminate small fish, you target big fish, but no matter what, with that bigger bait, fish just become harder to hook. It's not a bad idea to put out big baits, but I mean, those, those are things you can expect. And, you know, in a tournament situation, that's kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. Are you... Are you talking still? Where did I put the ratchet? Your ratchet. See, that's the part, part of the system. Not where Be, you set stuff. Being ratchet. Any words of wisdom, Denny, for the river rats watching this video? If you don't have to camp with Spencer, don't don't camp with Spencer. Good one. <laughs> My word. I have to, Spencer. No, you don't. You never have to. You're sounding like a real victim right now, Denny. <laughs> You're right. I need, more, I need to be more at cause. Yes. Uh, my recommendation would be don't look at the sun without sunglasses on, kind of like I am right now. Ooh, perfect. Stay there. You're welcome. Thank you. You're not. You have a purpose. <laughs> Last night was kind of uh, not great. We only fished for like an hour, hour and a half. Denny's making funny faces, or I don't know what he's doing. So we're going to go out right now, and I'm trying to be optimistic, but uh, what are you doing? Anyway, let's go fishing. <laughs> I've got a couple of trogs. Just need two two good ones. But I'm proud of myself. I still haven't got my feet in the water yet. Algae exfoliation. <laughs> I've read that nowhere. I saw it on Facebook. Where I get all my information. Where I get all my information. All my news and science come off Facebook. We're out here, I'm gonna try something shallow, and then uh, my phone's about dead, and I need it for a camera, so I'm gonna have to turn it back on and call Danny and see how he's doing, and make adjustments from there. 
you can get baits in the water more than anything. I'm gonna use one smaller bait with the hopes of at least getting on the board with my two fish, even if they are two 20 inchers. And then I'm gonna run nothing but big ones. Actually, that's a lie because sometimes the big ones want little baits. So I'll probably do one big one, one little one for the duration of this morning. When I say little baits, it's all relative. Like that's that's a little bait. Oop, put myself in the face. got whacked pretty decent. I took my bait. Sure did. Not a giant fish probably, but an excited one. Got me excited. Would have taken that fish. <laughs> Just missed another smaller fish, but kind of exciting, I guess. Two bites in a half hour. Small fish on the screen. My anxiety is really high. I don't know why, but I'm rhyming. Might not be the best timing, but I'm here. Didn't actually mean to rhyme at first. You can bet the last of it was on purpose. I'm a poet. It's been about 50 minutes on this drift and my anxiety is creeping up. I can just feel the talk or the clock going tick tock, tick tock. And my heart rate is elevated more than it should be for just sitting down in a chair. Just need one more fish. I'm officially on my last drift and if there's a time to be a hero it's right now. Anything that happens now is about as clutch as it gets. One dink is all I got and I had my one shot. And everybody gets shots at big fish but the good anglers execute and to yesterday and today I'm not a good angler. And honestly, I could make a million excuses, but ultimately, who gives a crap? It's just, you know, one of them bad days of fishing. It just happened to coincide with the tournament. So, here we are. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Really do. And if you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscri subscribe button. But regardless, I really, really appreciate you watching, and I hope you catch Giant. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the best and one being the worst how would you rate this trip <laughs> i'd give this trip a solid 3.5 just because i'm here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise it would probably be a six <laughs>